Hello, it's Jim, and it's time once again for a video recap of this week's West Side Fantasy Premier League something spot. Bear with me as I as I consider an important offer from a sponsor in the form of a pop up. Uh, no, I don't want that closed. Okay, good. All right, uh, we're reviewing this week's results. Week one, it's in the books, and I sort of personally wish it weren't because my week was terrible. What's with the bags under my eyes? I think that's a shadow. I don't really look this bad. Anyway, I look, you know. Okay, uh, let's let's move right along to results before this goes completely off the rails. All right. Now, I'm going to work uh, from top to bottom based on the order on my screen, which means, of course, that we're starting with the Laser Spaniels versus Ghetto Superstar now. Um, you know, I, I felt very strongly that we needed Ghetto Superstar, the, the heritage of the Ghetto Superstar name, of a team in the league, so I, I, I talked. Um, I, I, I thought it was a good idea for you know for Miles to retain the Ghetto Superstar name, and so he did. So thanks, man. Appreciate that. But now I'm sort of wishing I, I didn't because I, I think uh, probably um, uh, the power of the name is what caused the victory over the Laser Spaniels, <clears throat> or maybe it was Matt Forte's 30 points. What the bleep! I swear, I just. Like, what is going on with this? Kyle Orton, 34 points, better than you'd, you'd expect in a 17-point losing effort, but, but still not bad. Um, Andre Johnson didn't really do what he was supposed to do, but Miles Austin with 20, Jamal Charles with 16, Matt Forte with 30, Arizona defense with 19, 147, not a bad way to start. Now, over on the Spaniels' side of the ledger, um, sort of all right, 106, Brady... As always, got 43. Thanks, Tom. Love you, baby. Um, Adrian Peterson, unexciting 10 points. Pierre Thomas, 14 points. Neil Rackers, one of my stars this week. 11 points. Look at that. 106, not good enough. That's a loss. That's a big loss. The sad thing is I, I think I would have beaten five of you with my 106 points. Uh, so obviously some work to do in the Laser Spaniels camp. You know, it's not going to be fun in practice this week for the Laser Spaniels. Ghetto Superstar, on the other hand, 147. Uh, had a real strong game and goes to 1-0. and And that's the first game. Let's move on to the second game. This has got to be, I, I, I think, one of the whompings of all times. Definitely the whomping of the week. Um, the Jolly Rogers basically um, poleaxed Smack Attack. Basically chopped Smack Attack into uh, pieces of kibble and fed it to ill-tempered sea bass, I think, was their plan. I mean... Carson Palmer, 45, in a terrible game. Uh, uh, Larry Fitzgerald, 10. Austin Colley, 19. Chris Johnson, 27. That's not a surprise. Ronnie Brown, 14. Dallas Clark, 14. Antonio Gates, 13. Tennessee defense, 167 points to 64. So this is a more than 100-point win. I don't think this has happened more than a couple of times in our, in our history. Um, uh, guy of Smack Attack fame, had 21 from Brett Favre, and then everybody else in single digits, including three from Deshaun Jackson, 1.3 from Dwayne Bowe, and 1.4 from Percy Harvin, and 3.6 from John Carlson. So it was just not enough, not even close to enough, 64.9 points. Uh, you got some work to do there. No suspense in this game whatsoever. So, so far, two blowouts. What's next? The Ferocious Finnick, and you betcha. Now, you'll recall last year that Jake... Uh, struggled to get a win. Uh, he has already matched his last year's win total with a win over you betcha. Uh, John, uh, John's you betcha team didn't didn't have a terrible game. Uh, you know, uh, sort of in the laser spaniels range. Twenty nine from Breeze, twenty one from Ocho Cinco, who who knew that he'd be back. Uh, Thirteen from Vicente Chianco, who um, as always is winning the name game. Oh wait, he's not winning the name game because seventeen points came from Legedu Nani. I think clearly you betcha is going to be the name team. Uh, 104, not enough. Uh, over on the Fennec side, I don't know how he did it, but he, he put some good numbers on the board. Romo with 34, 18 from Welker. No surprise there. 25 from Hakeem Nix. I think he got four catches and three of them were touchdowns. Uh, <clears throat> and, of course, Jake's always betting on rookies. So Javid Best got 15. Good bet there. Jeremy Macklin got 10. What? Mason Crosby, his kicker, got 12. Uh, 141 points, a real strong day, Jake. And the first just finished, go up one nothing on John, and you betcha. All right, well, who's next? Jamarcus Bentley. Jamarcus's Bentley against DeBiz. 
So we got we got Phil against Matt here, and uh, it's, a, it's a battle of I think uh, I think Phil recruited Matt for this league. So um, anyway, the the, uh, the rivalry should be pretty uh, pretty real. Jamarcus has Bentley won eighty five to seventy. Uh, again, I mean, you know, sure, Phil won the game, but I mean, how? I'm not sure how happy you can really be about this. 23 points from Ryan, which is what you'd expect. 14 from Greg Jennings of Green Bay. Frank Gore didn't really do much. Jonathan Stewart got a 1.2 points. Santana Moss with seven. Ricky Williams. This is not a very exciting, but it adds up to 85 points. Over on the other side, on Matt's side, Kevin Cobb. I mean, you see where I'm going with this. Kevin Cobb was a starter. 2.5 points. You know, that's an unfortunate turn of events. Um, probably would have made the difference between a win or a loss here. Uh, probably would have gotten, you know, maybe, you know, all, all he really needed would be get like uh, 18 points for, for the biz to win, but it didn't happen. Reggie Wing got nice 15 points. Uh, Beanie Wells got zero. Uh, so, way to go. The kicker, David Bueller. Bueller. Bueller got one point. That's not going to do it. Owen Daniels got 0.9. All adds up to 70. So, Matt and DeBiz go down 0-1. Jamarcus Bentley goes who won and oh all right let's see what else we got here we've got uh, the I versus Bretta is um, <clears throat> the I captain by Mike Quain and uh, Bretta is is the other Mike's this is the battle of the Mike's pretty much the I is this you know I've never actually met Mike Quain but I'm assuming his logo is him there or maybe it's just some dude with a scary eye but anyway uh, Aaron Rodgers, 27, not bad. Uh, 11 from Tim Hightower, 13 from Ahmad Bradshaw, uh, and the Baltimore defense adds up to 89, and that was enough in this case to beat the other Mike. So the battle of the Mikes has happened, and Mike Queen is the winner. Shab with only 14. I mean, I don't really know how. It's kind of funny because you you have Shab with a terrific victory and not a lot of fantasy points. So I guess it's the Arian Foster, isn't it? Just running all over everybody uh, in the. Houston Indianapolis game. Roddy White with 11, 13 for Steve Smith. The Carolina, a good Steve Smith. Maurice Jones Drew with 11, and it all adds up to 76, which is not quite enough to beat 89. So Mike Queen wins the battle of the Mikes. And finally, last game of the week. Smell this versus Rough the Passer. Um, so, you know, Drew, the perennial doormat, I, you know, I got to say, it doesn't look that way this time. Once again, drafting Pat Peyton Manning, and once again, um, being happy with that, 61 points from Manning. So that is half of his points, but still. Um, 11 from Anquan Bolden, 0.7 from Sean Green, 1.8 from Jericho Cotchery. Uh, you know, it just didn't really add up to, to much other than Manning, but it's still good, 120 points um, compared to everybody else. If Manning can produce those kind of numbers, then uh, Drew's in good shape. Over on the rough, the passer side, Philip Rivers uh, lost, but produced 42 points. Um, and 19.5 from Richard Mendenhall, fighting a line eye. Uh, New York, 19 points. And of course, Arian Foster with 41.8 points. 41.8 points for a running back. And that, folks, is going to win you the game. Except if Rough the Passer had played Jolly Rogers, it wouldn't have. But this time it did. Uh, and that's really the story of this game. Rough the Passer. Uh, captain by Rob, uh, it's defeated smell this of Drew, and uh, once again, Drew starts his season 0-1. Okay, a quick look at a quick look at the standings. I mean, it doesn't really, you know, at this point, it doesn't really mean much, but uh, Division del Norte is led by Rough the Passer, First Justinic in the Eye, and Division del Sur by the Jolly Rogers, Ghetto Superstar, and Jamarcus Bentley. Next week, uh, let's see if we got rivalry games. Let me just check it out. Uh, rivalry games, rivalry games, rivalry games, rivalry games. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't. I, I don't see any big rivalry games coming up next week, but I'm sure there will be some. Let's make some. Who wants to be the designated rivalry game next week? Just you know, raise your hand. You know what, Tommy and Phil, you guys are rivals now. I'm just declaring it. Jamarcus is Bentley and Jolly Rogers. That's the rivalry game of the week. Um, by the way, there really wasn't a nail nibbler this week. It was all. It was all pretty. You know, it was all pretty cut and dried. I guess you'd have to give it to the eye and Bretta is, but I don't really think that was too close. But anyway, so we got a Whomping of the Week, Jolly Rogers. We've got the Nail Nibbler, which was the Biz and the uh, whoever the I can't remember. And we've got the the upcoming rivalry game, Phil and Tommy. It's a blood feud, Jolly Rogers versus Jamarcus's Bentley. And I think those Pirates want to take that Bentley. So that's it. See you guys later. Bye.